you how we do cake with my avenue. Let me show you how we do cake with my avenue. Mr. Smith, you real irky with your little toy. What'd you say? Nothing. All right, listen. We're going to get right into it today, guys. Hey, man, who put that snack tissue on my desk? <laughs> <laughs> All right, everybody. Today's the day we're going to jump right into it. It is Inspiration Speech Day. Yippee! Huh? Who inspires you? Hey, listen. I know that I wasn't going to have anybody want to volunteer first, so I've already prepared the list. <sighs> okay, yeah, suck your teeth all you want. It's not going to change my mind. First up, my man Kenny. Yo, Mr. Chattanooga, how you doing? I'm sorry. DJ Key Touch here for career day? <laughs> uh, I'm sorry, you got the wrong classroom. This is a speech class. Chattanooga's downstairs. Make a right, make a left, right, left, you're right there. So, Mr. Chattanooga's where? Downstairs, make a right, make a left, right, left, right there. Got it? Ah, oh, okay. Well, class, I'm DJ Key Touch. If you having a party or something, give me a call. Oh, she knows yeah. yeah. Okay, Key Touch, thank you. Oh, you can have one too, man. You're going to need this. Uh, all right, right. right. DJKeyTouch.com. Okay. Thank you. Take it easy. Nice lady. All right, that's crazy. All right, let's get it. Hey, 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 hey. What's up? Bathroom? For what? You just got here. I I'm not prepared. Zero. <laughs> Zero. Oh. Kenny, let's go. The person that inspires me is my dad. His name is Kenny Monroe, and he's a firefighter. He risks his life every day just to save other people. It could be children, the elderly, even the animals. I remember this one time when I was young. He almost died trying to save a mother and her three kids. And my mother said, you can't do that. You know you have a, your family of your own to take care of. And he told her, I have to. It's my job. People say that he's a hero and that he deserves respect. The truth is, he's my hero. That's why I want to be a firefighter so I can be just like my dad. I'm inspired by Russell Simmons. He's a businessman. He's got like an empire, makes hella money, and he's spiritual as shit. Excuse you? My bad, my bad, Mr. Smith. But he does inspire the shit out of me. <laughs> <laughs> Obama inspired me because I mean, there never would be a black president, but you know, there is now. <laughs> I want to be like Oprah. She started out as a news anchor, which I want to do. She got fired and still managed to get her own talk show. Become an actress, producer, and philanthropist. Philanthropist. What he said. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> now she has her own TV network. Well, y'all know I'm real good with numbers and stuff, and green, and green is like my favorite color. <laughs> so money inspires me. I'll do anything to make money besides, you know, stripping and illegal stuff like that. <laughs> TT, this is supposed to be about someone who inspires you. Well, Mr. Smith, I was getting to that. Anybody who makes a lot of money inspires me. <laughs> Anyways, y'all want to be millionaires? Y'all need to get this book about millionaires and how to be a millionaire. You need to pass this class first. I did my report, okay? It's about how to be a millionaire. If y'all want to be a millionaire, get this book. Finish. So, I got this um, book on Misty Copeland, the ballerina. She's like a big inspiration for, you know, like young African-American ballerinas coming up. And what a lot of you don't know is that I used to dance. What? I used to do ballet, tap, jazz, hip hop, club. But the person that really inspired me was my mom. She used to be a dancer. 
and <laughs> she used to tell me how much she loved to watch me dance and how happy I was on performance days and rehearsal days and all of that. And I actually wanted to be a dance teacher because I thought that maybe one day I could make kids as happy as I was, you know, help them, help them believe in themselves, you know, believe in their dream and have fun doing it too. But it started to become not so fun for me anymore, and I just quit. But anyway, I, I just been through a lot, you know. And I just want to say for all these people that we're inspired by, you know, that's great. It really is great, but they can let you down, for real. And the only person that can get you back up is you. Like, you have to want it. You have to go for it, and you have to put in the work to get to where you want to be. Because best believe in this neighborhood, ain't no handouts. Nobody gonna help you do nothing. Mm -hmm. That's right. It's all on you. So, um, yeah, I mean, it's, it's great. It's great to have inspirations like these. And um, just remember, though, that we want to be an inspiration to somebody, too, one day and not let them down like my mother let me down. So, baby, why don't you show me your dance moves from class today? Okay. Now, you stand like that. Okay. Right here? Right. All right, right here. Right. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Ready? Uh-huh. One, two, three, four, five, hey. six, seven, eight. Okay. So one, oh, okay. You can finish that because that's uh, a little bit too much for me. Okay. And then you spin, and then you kick. Okay. And then ta-da! Wow, so, you really learned a lot. Yeah. Okay. So why don't you show me the whole thing now? Put it okay. all together. Okay. Wow. You did so good. I loved it. Thanks. Oh my goodness, my baby. Come on, let's go. Okay. Jungle love. Hey! Whoa, oh, yo, oh, yo. Girl, what the? Who knocking on the door? I'm trying to cook. What's this? Oh, Simone. What's up, Simone? How can I help you? Wow! I just made some cheese danishes. Mm. But unfortunately, I forgot that my girlfriend is allergic to them. So, I brought them over oh. for you and the kids. Oh, well, thank you, Simone. I really appreciate this. Mm -hmm. Um, is there anything else I can help you with? Well, aren't you going to invite me in? I know the kids aren't home from school yet. Well, actually, the kids will be here any minute. Mm. Well, you know, you could use someone to clean the house. And um, why don't you invite me over when you're by yourself and I can clean it for you? Well, actually, Simone, the, the kids do their chores and they pretty much clean the house, so we good. Mm. We good. <laughs> you don't get lonely? <laughs> I mean, I could be a company buddy. Oh, wait a minute. <laughs> company buddy? Mm -hmm. What do you mean company buddy? Why don't you let me in and I'll show you. <laughs> oh, okay. That's it. <laughs> All right. Go buy some more. Oh, but you know you want it. Buy <laughs> some more. <laughs> buy. Okay. Thank you, though, for the danger. Okay. Kids, I got off early, went to the market to make us some, some dinner. So I hope you have a taste for chicken, rice, and homemade rolls. <laughs> That's just like mom used to make. Huh? No thanks, I'm, I'm not hungry. I am. Well then you eat it. Look, Sasha, don't talk to your brother like that. 
What's wrong with you? You come home late and drunk all the time and now you want to tell me what to do? You know what? Fuck that fool. Fuck this house and fuck you. Whoa, 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 whoa. Wait a minute, young lady. Hold up. Look, Khalil, I'm going to need for you to go up in your room right now. I need to talk to your sister right now. Oh, no, 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 young lady. You stand right here. We need a conversation. Now, you listen to me. I may not be the best of dads, but I am trying. Do you know how hard it is to be a single dad with two children I'm trying to raise, having a job that's barely making the minimum wage? Now, what I need for you to do is to speak to me with more respect. You understand what I'm saying, young lady? Because all I ever do... All you do is what? Lie? I'm not stupid. You've been coming home a lot lately. Early. And you never used to come home early. And now you want to cook? You haven't cooked for us in a year. A whole year. So why you want to do it now, huh? All right. I'm going to tell you the truth. No more lying. I lost my job. Okay? But I didn't want to tell you that because I didn't want you to worry. Now, you got to understand something. It's difficult. It really is. Now, I did find a way to make some money. Now, I'm not going to always be here to cook for you all. But I guarantee there's going to be some changes. <laughs> I don't matter what changes it's going to be. Nothing is going to change the fact that mom ain't here. No matter what you cook, it's not mom's food. You can never fill her shoes. I know I can't fill your mama's shoes. I'm not your mother, yes. But I am your father. Why did she leave us? I mean, what did I do to make her leave? What, what did I do? Don't say that. I don't. Don't say that. Please, I, listen. There's nothing that you and I did that caused this, okay? Your mom, she's just in a messed up place, okay? But what I need for you to do, I need for you to look at me. And I want to tell you something. I'm so sorry. I'm sorry for all the drinking. I'm sorry for putting my hands on you the way I did. It's hard for me to forgive myself. But I sure hope that you can forgive me. Now listen. I got an interview tomorrow. Okay? If things go well, I promise you, I'm cutting out all the bullshit. All of it. Promise. Baby, I promise. No more drinking. No more drinking. Okay. Khalil, come here for a minute. I want to apologize to you both, but I'm going to tell you something. It's going to get better. You hear me? I promise you it's going to get better. I love you all. All right? Now let's go get something to eat, okay?